15-year-old Jenna Zakarne used to play on this rooftop with her brother Adham, cousin Khalid, and her cat Lulu. On Monday, they went to the spot where Jenna was killed by Israeli forces. Adham was the one who found his sister's body late on Sunday. After the Israeli forces withdrew, I came back home. My uncle told me to call Jenna. I found her dead and the cat was next to her. I couldn't believe my eyes. Khaled says Jenna wanted to take Lulu home when Israeli forces raided their neighborhood. The cat stayed near Jenna meowing. I'm sure she was scared when she saw Jenna fall. Then Adam came here and started shouting. The cat ran away. We only found her now hiding downstairs. On Monday morning, the rooftop had become a crime scene. Palestinian police gathered evidence and interviewed witnesses. Some said Israeli special forces had been stationed in the building opposite Jenna's house. Israel's defense minister has expressed sorrow at Zakarna's killing, saying that the army does not shoot civilians intentionally. During the incident, a hail of bullets was fired at the forces and explosives and Molotov cocktails were thrown. In response, the forces returned fire at the shooters out of self-defense. But the family says Jenna was not in the crossfire. There were no Palestinian fighters in our neighborhood. We know where the fighters were stationed, and it's in another place, far from where Jana was. Friends say Jana liked to paint, joke, and watch soap operas. The family says she used to help her sick mother. Now, they're all facing life without her. Jana would have turned 16 later this month. Instead of her birthday party, family and friends gathered for her burial. Palestinians say that funerals are becoming regular occurrence, they tell us that the lack of accountability makes Palestinians more vulnerable to the Israeli shoot-to-kill policy. It's not only adults, but children too who pay the price. Rights organization Defense for Children International says more than 25% of Palestinians killed by Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank this year were children. Many like Adham see their friends and family members being killed and fear they'll be next. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, Jinin, the Occupied West Bank.